The Indian Army and Indian Air Force has procured two types of passive exoskeletons from Rajasthan-based New Endra Innovations, known as the Jaipur Belt Exoskeleton and Armour Exoskeleton, that will support logistics and combat operations. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has kicked off the Naval Commanders Conference 2024 and witnessed twin carrier operations at sea. The Indian Navy has commissioned the INS Chitalyu Naval Base in the Luxardweep Islands. The Indian Navy has commissioned its first MH-60 multi-role helicopter squadron at Kochi. Indian firm Centum Electronics has secured 187 crore contract from the DRDO for the realization of space-based electronic warfare payloads within a 16-month time frame. The Manipur police has inducted seven new Tata quick reaction fighting vehicles today. The DRDO is developing a new 125mm smoothbore gun, and two new armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds, that can destroy tanks with 600mm and 700mm armor. Maldives president has said, that Maldives will not renew the agreement with India to conduct hydrographic surveys, and it is acquiring the equipment to do this exercise by itself. China Foreign Ministry spokesperson has said, that the China Maldives strategic cooperation does not target any third party, and this cooperation will not be disrupted by any third party. India has successfully airdropped an indigenously developed heavy platform from C-17 aircraft during trials, that is capable of carrying a substantial load of 45,000 pounds. The Aeronautical Development Agency has proposed an unmanned AMCA concept to the Indian Air Force, which would be the first of its kind fifth-generation fighter jet that will be controlled entirely by an electronic pilot and ground commands. The unmanned AMCA will eliminate the need for a human pilot on board, potentially reducing risks and offering tactical advantages, however, the Indian Air Force remains cautious about the unmanned variant, and the Indian Air Force prioritizes the development of the manned AMCA, emphasizing the continued need for human control in its fighter jets. The Indian Navy has successfully concluded the Technical Evaluation Committee stage for its Project 75I program. Two companies emerged as frontrunners after submitting bids, that includes Spanish firm Nevantia and German firm Disencrypt Marine Systems. With the technical evaluation complete, the Project 75I program will now move forward with commercial negotiations, submission of final price bids, followed by contract award. The Ministry of Defence has issued a new challenge through IDEX to Indian startups to develop a rocket-assisted or an engine-assisted range extension kit, equipped with an infrared head for terminal guidance, that will extend the operational range of existing 250 kg high-speed low drag bombs to beyond 150 km. It must ensure compatibility with existing bomb racks on IAF aircraft, allowing for easy integration and operational deployment. As per latest reports, the design phase of the 12 indigenous next-generation conventional diesel submarines on the Project 76 will now be handled solely by the Warship Design Bureau, bypassing Mazagin Dock ship builders, which was expected to play a key role. Officials have confirmed the exclusion of Mazagin Dock ship builders from the design phase, however, Mazagin Dock ship builders have expressed eagerness to participate in its manufacturing, once the Warship Design Bureau finalizes the design. Today's top 3 comments.